the freshman senator wore a white Carhartt hoodie, basketball shorts, and Hoka sneakers when he called on President Joe Biden to invoke the 14th Amendment to raise the nation's debt limit. In his defense regarding wearing a white hoodie in the midst of men in suits and ties, at least it's not after Labor Day. He was joined by Senator Bernie Sanders, Independent Vermont, Senator Ed Markey, Democrat Massachusetts, Senator Peter Welch, Democrat Vermont, and Senator Jeff Merkley, Democrat Oregon. The entire GOP debt ceiling negotiation is a sad charade, and that's exactly what's wrong with Washington, Fetterman said. We're playing with the livelihoods of millions just so the GOP can just turn the screws against hungry Americans. Congress has until June 1st to come to an agreement. If not, the Treasury Department has warned the federal government could default on debts, Breitbart News reported. Fetterman, named one of the New York Times' most stylish people in 2022, faced criticism for his laid-back attire from Rep. Lauren Boebert, Republican Colorado. She took to Twitter to share her frustration with Fetterman's fashion faux pas. Another Twitter commenter made the claim that Senator Fetterman was modeling his wardrobe ascetic after Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky. On numerous occasions, the leader of the war-torn country has worn crewneck sweaters and combat books in visits with world leaders. Even Senator Fetterman's wife took to poking fun at her husband on Twitter. The Carhartt hoodie has been Fetterman's signature look dating back to his time as mayor of Braddock, Pennsylvania. I do not look like a typical politician, nor do I look like a typical person, Fetterman, a six-foot, eight-inch tall, tattoo-covered man, said. Senator Fetterman made his first appearance back at the Senate after spending weeks in a hospital for his depression in a black Carhartt hoodie and black shorts, an outfit which Breaking Points host Sagar Jetty said left him with no words.